Welcome back, everybody. Sorry, I uh, I had to log off and uh, go help Chihuahua Power G with uh, some stuff. She locked her keys <laughs> in her office where she was in doing some work prepping for next week. Um, and uh, yeah, it was bad. So she didn't, she couldn't get in her car. So I had to bring spare car keys to her. I am not entirely positive that there is a treasure chest buried here. Um, not sure what's going on. Yeah, so, uh, what were we talking about? We were talking about stuff. Magic Castle. Um, I have, uh, I've met somebody kind of as part of this whole process. Um, just at sort of the inside the local magic community. Uh, named Chris, who is a uh, he's an improv comedian guy, actor, um, and he uh, has uh, recently those bubbles were weird. Were there just fishes playing? I think so. Uh, anyway, so he is also auditioning, and he auditioned on Monday. It was his first audition. He did not. Uh, he was not invited to join, um, and they asked him to come back. Here? Yes, I can. Um, <clears throat> so, um, and I was listening while I was driving, bringing the keys to Chihuahua Power G. Um, I was listening to, he has a podcast on, uh, that he does with uh, John Accardo. Uh, another magician, local magician, that they are friends, and uh, they do a, a podcast called The Setup, where they talk about comedy and magic and all that good stuff. So, uh, and he was talking about his audition experience. It was it was actually very interesting, and I think he maybe needs a little bit more. Um, I think he's taken a couple things that were said to him. A little bit uh, more seriously than maybe I think he should so we'll have to chat about that um, he seems pretty discouraged which is understandable because I was feeling pretty discouraged too first time and he's got like a performance background but I think he's sort of coming to the opinion or the understanding impression whatever you want to call it that the uh, <clears throat> the sort of performance necessary for magic is a little bit different uh, than than you would use for stand-up or improv, which is interesting. Not something I, I don't have experience with those things, so not something that I would have thought about. So that's uh, that's interesting. I'm curious to hear a little more about that. But um, yeah, so I think I think that's all covered. I don't think I, we need to talk about that anymore. Uh, today is July 14th, which might be Bastille Day, um, but it is my friend BR's birthday. <clears throat> um, BR, BR died several years ago. She had cancer in her bones. It was a really slow and painful progression and she thought she had beat it a couple times and she was an avid runner and she went out running and broke her leg because the cancer had spread into one of her legs and it was just kind of a uh, just kind of an awful awful situation uh, her birthday is today and we used to celebrate her birthdays together because they were only a couple weeks apart we used to go have sushi somewhere, and um, and I kind of miss that. It was uh, back when I could eat fish and not have to worry about going to the hospital afterwards. Um, and uh, yeah, it was just was kind of a annual thing that we always did, and uh, kind of miss it. Uh, Br's best friend was a uh, was a plush 
lion named Raleigh. And um, I think she she treated Raleigh as if he were real, mainly because I think it made people uncomfortable. Um, which is fine. And um, and Raleigh's best friend was a plush moose named Moosey. Um, so, and one of the last things Br did was she built a giant. Um, <clears throat> She built a giant rocket ship in her backyard for Moosey and Raleigh to be able to fly away to a different planet, which I thought was great and not a bad sort of way to spend your last your last months. Um, so, uh, and it just occurred to me not that's not the cause of my pause there, but just occurred to me that. Oh, there's something down there. Um, that uh, I should build a giant robot. Uh, not a robot. Yeah, a giant robot's not a bad idea either. Oh, hello. There's a structure down here. Um, build a giant rocket ship. Somewhere on the server. In memory of VR. Whoa. Let's swap to my pick. There, um, hmm. Oh, can I get air by stepping onto here? Yes. Awesome. Step over here. I imagine there probably should be. Did I just drink the wrong thing? Yes, I did. There we go. Okay. There may not have been a buried treasure over there, and I actually have a theory about why that might be. Um, but there should be one here, I think. Hello. Okay, a couple emeralds. That's kind of a lame treasure chest. All right. Well, you know what? That actual chest would be better in my inventory than any of these things. So let's. Uh... That was a weird sound. Oh. <laughs> Criminy, there's a there's a boat here and everything. So that water breathing potion isn't going to be wasted. Um, I got a poison potato, or two, or four. No treasure map. Okay. Um, <clears throat> in case you're wondering, I, I'm breaking the chest because my understanding is. The, the chests are the thing that the treasure maps sort of key in on. And if the chest is broken, then the treasure map will not uh, will not lead you to uh, the uh, that location again. Maybe wrong about that. I don't know. Um, but that is that was my understanding. Oh, there's another pup for fish. Goodness. Okay. Some terracotta down here. Okay, so we need to. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Dolphin. Yeah, there's nothing really there either, is there? And, oh, hello. Okay, oh, and this chest is widely visible. And there's nothing in there either. Okay, this one, this one, there was another one here. 
Yeah, right here. So I don't get ambushed by any other uh, drowned thingies. Either goodness. Okay, well at least I found some stuff. Let me uh Huh. How much water breathing do I have left? Four minutes. Whoa. Okay, I could see myself getting lost in here. So we need to be a little careful. And there's beasties about. Oh wow, oh cool, this is, ah! Yeah. Huh, Neat little cave area. Oh, I should probably eat. Ooh, it opens up over here. I should keep an eye on the time. Wow. This is pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to find anything useful in here, but... like an underwater cave system. Oh, he was carrying gold. Make sure I got him. Wow. There's a chest down here. It's like a cave. Uh, let's, what can I get rid of? I don't need polished granite. Oh. I don't really need gold nuggets either. Um, interesting. Okay. I need to get out of here. And... Swim home, or fly home, and work on other stuff. Does this lead out? This does. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, oh, there's a hole right next to that little thing there. And it's nighttime. Okay, let's go sleep in the bed, and then, uh... Go home.